am a girl. I am a girl. I. <clears throat> I am a girl. Man, don't let me get a hold of a pussy, cause boy, nigga, bro, chat. If you let me get a if you let me get a hold of a pussy for twenty four hours, nigga, one of my pussy lips is gonna be dragging on the fucking floor, and the other is probably gonna be scrumbled up like a scrunchie. Like, nigga, that shit gonna be a fucking shit show. Dead ass. I'll probably freeze like a, a log of shit and use it as a dildo. Like, I'll do some freaky ass shit. I'll probably fuck around and like grab a Sharpie and like tag my pussy. You'll be lovely peaches 2.0. Nigga letting the world hit. I'll let anybody hit. Homeless with a home. Like, nigga, my pussy would just be free game. I am a girl. I am a girl. I am a girl. You don't deserve rights of a pussy. I'm from Huntington Beach and I'm 24. I'm Hania. I'm 26 and I'm from Inglewood. I'm saying You're still the same guy from two months ago? I'm 23 and I'm Never California. changing, baby. I'm Mia. I'm 19 and I'm from Pasadena, California. I'm Celeste. I'm 19 and I'm. Wait, did your arms get bigger? Oh, you noticed? Oh! <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Oh, I didn't think anybody noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to the gym a little bit. <laughs> you know, if you need help for directions, I mean, shit. Uh, the mall's that way. I mean, or if you gotta go over to the. What is that? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> didn't think anybody noticed. <laughs> Can we watch the fucking video? All right, my boy. I'm from Culver City, California. I'm Casey. I'm 18, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. My name is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. Wait, what? Wait, hold on, wait, what? You see, I'm 18 and I'm from Los Angeles, California. My name is Natalie, but you can call me Nat. I am from Washington. I recently moved here for work, Ooh, but yeah. yeah. For the most part, my technique coming in with it is like a more masculine take on it, because if I was too girly, then it would be too up. What the fuck? What's everyone wearing? I'm in some sambas, black jeans, and like a light greenish top mm -hmm. from okay. Zara. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing Levi's, um, a like bodysuit, and then dunks, and a little cardigan too. I'm wearing like a purple skirt. Why like is it white, never a black guy? <laughs> Let's go like, what's everyone's shoe size? Ooh, <laughs> I'm a size 10. 10? Yeah, 10 and one. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Yo, chat, what's our shoe size? I'm an 11. How tall are you? 5'10". Oh, Ooh, okay. yeah, so that makes sense. I'm a short girly. I'm 4'11 without these heels on. <gasps> Whoa. Excuse me, uh, thank you. On a good day, I'm 5'4", though. I am wearing size 7.5. I think it's pretty mm. average yeah. for girls, I guess. Mm. I'm, I'm like 5'3". I'm a size like 5. Um, Yo, did that motherfucker just say 3? Yo, that motherfucker just said 3. I'm, I'm like 5'3". Yo, that motherfucker just said 3. I have a shoe size of 9, so. I like how we all just started sharing our height. <laughs> <laughs> What's like your biggest insecurity? Oh, good question. Hard hitting. I was suspicious of Hania at first just because she seemed to be asking a lot of the questions and having a lot a large role in the discussion. Hmm. I don't have to go for it. <laughs> I'm coming for everyone with a regular forehead because <laughs> y'all sound like y'all got regular foreheads. Like I'm getting regular forehead energy here. Laughing was a big thing for me. They were laughing a ton and I was trying to I was trying to like <laughs> It just didn't work out. <laughs> so, yeah, I was trying my best. <laughs> I think the biggest thing for me is acne. I have it on my face and my back, and it's pretty bad, especially when I go, when I go to the beach. So, it can be pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'm gonna be completely honest. If I was like, yo, chat, you know how like people, they be like calling on the phone to have like phone sex with like sex workers? Like, oh yeah, I want you to stroke that dick real good. And you'd be like, oh yeah, talk to me dirty, talk to me good. Yeah, yeah, I want you to. Yeah, yeah, I want you to imagine I was there just sucking on your dick. Like, he could probably, like, catfish me on the phone. You know what I mean? I have another question. Hi, bro. What's your, like, usual go-to style? For me, not, I think I would say, like, an urban, like, comfy style. I'm not super fancy as a person, so, um, yeah, I'd say urban comfy. Whatever is currently in style, I try to stick to that. Yeah, that's how part. I feel, too. I mean, I try to keep mine just, like, timeless, wearing timeless, like, pieces that, yeah. like, mm -hmm. keep me very practical. I'm wearing a tank top right now, so <laughs> it works out. What did you guys want to be when, like, you were a little girl? I really wanted to be a veterinarian. Same. Drake. I actually. really loved animals. I still love animals. I was a horse girl. I can relate to that. I'm um, actually, I have horses back in Washington, <gasps> so 
Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. One I of them's name that. is Scooby Doo. It's great. Scooby Doo. Yeah. I love He's that. adorable. <laughs> I assembled like a speech for certain questions, but there were certain questions that were just completely off what they were like off the page, like the Bullshit. horses thing. I just jumped in as soon as I could. I'm like, yeah, I have horses. I don't have horses. <laughs> For Bullshit. me, I've always wanted to be like a singer, songwriter. So that's if they ask him what type of horse, he should say he got a, uh. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know shit about horses. What I'm trying to do. Okay. Casey's voice is kind of high. So it, it did make me a little suspect. I'm like, she kind of sounds like a princess from a Disney movie. And that doesn't just happen. I wanted to be an obstetrician and gynecologist. Oh. Oh, chat, do y'all got like deep voices or like high voices? Because I know it's, it's some girls in chat that probably sound like a fucking baby. Oh. And, and then there's probably a girl in chat that sound like me. And I got to UCLA and took chemistry. Uh, and I was like, oh, we gonna switch that around to something else. Were you pretty <laughs> Yeah, I was like biochem. I was like, oh, absolutely not. Medium. I'm a stand-up comedian now, though. I don't, Ooh, that's oh. completely different than where we started. It was almost like when you know somebody's lying because they explain too much. That's what it was like. Okay, she, she planned this script out pretty well, so. So did you guys go to school, like college or anything? Yes, I went to UCI. I graduated from like a small Shit. little school in Boston. Is that a comp? Um, it's called LaSalle, but it's not really Chomp. well known. But yeah, so I was over there for four years and then this is like my first full year being back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, do you think I'm gonna win this episode? Be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my fucking like. Hey, do you think I'm gonna win this up? Nah, chat. See, you know, see, chat. I think I, I I fuck with girls with with, with deep voices and shit too. Cause reason being, right? Like, imagine like you in a situation and she gotta yell at you, right? Hey, shut, hey, shut the fuck up and come give me that dick. I'm like, okay, mommy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you put in that type of situation. But also, like, girls with high pitched voices, that shit cool too. Or if it's like even in the middle, girls with voices are just cool in general. You know what I'm saying? Like. Honestly, people who just speak are cool as fuck, dead ass. Like, I just love fucking humans. Like, okay, not like fucking humans. Like, I like people. Okay. Oh, uh, we don't trust each other. Oh, ready? <laughs> this is... We will just move on to round two with all of them. I have the first question. Okay. Go ahead. What was you guys' first period like? I was just gonna ask oh, that. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we got... My first period, that shit was so fucking bloody. Because that's when I realized I had a heavy flow. You know what I'm saying? So... I was, uh... You know what I'm saying? I was just chilling and shit on the playground. And... You know what I'm saying? I was running and Lil Bray hit me with a fucking basketball. And then next you know, I just started leaking like a fucking like faucet, you know what I'm saying? And next you know, like I was wearing white jeans too. You would have thought somebody spilled red Kool-Aid right on where my pussy was. And so boom, I just start gushing fucking blood, like just And then next you know that shit like it's like all around the fucking zipper and then it leaked down a little bit to my fucking calf. Like that shit was crazy. You prefer pads or tampons? Honestly, I just shove cotton balls in my pussy till it feels right. Or it feels like it's too stuffed and I can't, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, I prefer cotton balls over any one. Or you just take like a wet rag and you take a uh, take a stick and you shove the rag in your pussy. Yeah, and then honestly, you could just, yeah, chill from there, to be honest. Grab some duct tape, duct tape the pussy clothes so then no blood can like seep through, no airflow gets through. And then leave it there for about like three, four days, change it. Do you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. Gotta get down to the nitty gritty so, now. For me, I you know. knew what was going on because I read like the American Girl doll books and oh everything. God, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for me, I was, it was no, over I don't the summer have before ADHD. What you mean? I was getting ready to go to track practice and then just happened. Be careful with them UTIs. You think I'm worried about a UTI, nigga? Bit. You think I'm worried about a UTI? Boy, 
Come on now. And I was like, oh, well. You have a dick? How you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was kind of ready for everybody else, so I knew it was mm. going to come soon, so mm -hmm. I was kind of ready for this it. This is getting too much. I was in the sixth grade bathroom, and I was freaking out, and my friends are outside. So when I got home, I told my mom, and she just like shoved me a pad and said, hey, try that, like put this on, <laughs> and then here. She never, I don't know, it's like maybe it's an Asian thing. She's just never talked to me about it. I think I was in seventh grade, I'm pretty sure. I was at home, and I like went to. Sorry to pause, but nah, if I had a pussy, I wouldn't wash it, because there's no need. They wash themselves. <laughs> Nigga, duh. Like, girls, girls are little, bro, I've said this countless times. Girls are like cats. You don't have to wash your pussy at all. Like, not one fucking bit. To the bathroom, and I saw that there was blood, and I didn't know what uh, to do. I didn't want to call my mom for some reason, so I called my cousin. I was like, I don't know what's going on. That's not how it works. How are you going to tell someone with a pussy how a pussy works? Please. Like, help me. And, and you never had the talk or anything either? I did, which oh. was, like, the funny part. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know. I, and then I eventually told my mom, like, after mm -hmm. her. But, yeah. yeah, my cousin was the first one that knew. So. I was in seventh grade talking? math class, and it was super awkward. I was basically sitting at my desk. I felt a really weird, like, sensation below my stomach. And I was really confused because they were talking about interesting stuff in health class before that point. But eventually, I just ran to the bathroom because I just didn't feel good. Okay, there's no way one of you is not a girl. That's I funny. know. You guys. I had no idea about anything involving periods or anything like that, so I just went with it. <laughs> Name something really specific that only a girl would get. Like, I like holding it in my pee because it turned me on. Specific. Don't just say pad. Um, I have really insane cramps, so I have mitol on me at all times. Okay, that's specific. Mitol um, mm -hmm. at all times. I have to have it. How do you know your period? Like, how do you know when your period's coming? I have really, really bad lower back pains, oh, yeah. and I'm like in pain for like two days before, mm -hmm. and I always get the same pimple around my lip area. Oh, same. Like I get right on my before cheek. my period. Is anyone? How do you know that? Because I'm a girl. An irregular. Well, I started birth control, and like oh, yeah. it's really screwed me up. Like I started mm -hmm. the next plan on, so that's something another girl might know. Specific. That's specific. Has anybody had any like scary experiences that they associate with being a woman? Oh like, yeah. Oh, oh, so. oh yeah. man. Hundred yeah. percent. I had a nigga really try to eat my pussy under the desk in math class. When you're just existing as a woman, one time at a college party, a guy talked to me for like two seconds, and then the next day I found out that he was telling everyone that I slept with him. What? Oh. Um, yeah. You say yes as a woman, you're a whore. You say no as a woman, you're a prude. Mm -hmm. If you're somewhere in between, people still find a way to hate you. Yeah. So, so preach to them. Yeah. So true. I would say like the hyper vigilance required to like go places by uh, yourself. Yeah. Yes. And the little That's things we exactly. do that. I don't know if everyone knows we do like, oh, let me just pretend that I'm playing music in my ears right. and ain't no music yeah. playing. Let me just, yeah. the let me just look down on my phone. Ain't nobody oh, yeah. even telling me. Yeah. The screen be black. Yeah. It becomes normal, but it really shouldn't have to be a normal to always have to feel like. Oh, God. Like, yeah. You have to protect yourself like a force right. field. Yeah. Do you guys know anyone or like if you want to share like that has experienced sexual assault? Oh. Um, I'll, I'll volunteer myself. I've came so far to be able to volunteer myself publicly and I'm proud of myself. I've experienced sexual assault and I think it does have a very, like it hawks your, your growth as far as what you feel you should be mentally as a woman. But there's a lot of emotional and spiritual things that you have to do in order to fully evolve to to even volunteer yourself as Tribune to say yeah. that, um, acknowledge that. The word survivor also is kind of like iffy for me because I feel like, oh, like, oh, I survived that. Like, you yeah. know, like, it's almost like I'm pitying myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. Like yeah. survivor yeah. and like, I don't even know. Like, it's just weird. It's just weird. Yeah. It's any, any word that feels comfortable to you. I'm not even pausing. Uh, I made it f Wow. They voted out the fake pussy. That's one round. That's what I came in here to do today. I'm actually happy that I was the first one voted out. So, yeah. Okay, to go a little bit deeper, because I need to figure out who the wall yeah. is. Yeah. Deep. Let's, How let's do you guys feel about abortion? Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> For me, I'm pro-choice. I believe everyone has the decision to do whatever they want with their body. And within pro-choice, also yeah, just pro-life, if you believe that you are pro-life for yourself. I feel like I would probably be pro-life for myself, just because I, 
I don't know, it's scary to go through some medical procedure. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. If you do want to get an abortion, like you do, like it's fine, like that's. Yeah. Hey chat, if you ever need, if you ever need an abortion done, I got that, I could, I could, I could hook you up in less than probably like tw an hour. Shit, give me about like $40. And I promise you, nigga, you ain't gonna have no more baby problems, nigga. Trust me, bro. All I need is a wrench, a crowbar, shit, a pellet gun, and give me and give me a fucking trash can and give me a lighter and I guarantee I'll make that shit go away so fucking fast. Like why a pellet gun if the little nigga try to come back to life, nigga? <laughs> Yo, let me do what I gotta do, alright? Don't question the well, fuck you need the lighter for it, cause I'ma put the little nigga in the bag and set the shit on fire. Like Never mind. Who's like a like a good like role model that you have like a woman role model? <laughs> That's in your really life? good. Um, I don't want to be cliche, but I'm gonna have to say my mother. Say Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all thinking that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like she blows. Honestly, Serena Williams is probably like my woman inspiration, cause the way she played tennis, she really know how to like tennis, you know? Cause my mind is is it truly flabbergasts me the things that moms do and they make it seem like it's slight work. My go-to person is my dad. Like he is everything to me and he has taught me what it is to be an upstanding person in society and to respect everyone. So I just, yeah. Uh. Notice, notice how she said she said her dad was her role model and they voted her dumb ass so <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your daddy. You wanna keep playing because you think the mole is in the box? Raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay, I'm suspicious of somebody. Okay, go and for I it. have a reason. Um Hania? What's up? So you were quiet during the abortion topic. Mm -hmm. And I just like, and like you've been kind of really talkative recently. So like that kind of like red flagged me a little bit. Oh, let me fix that up for you. So. <laughs> um, I also did, I mentioned that I am a survivor of assault. So abortion usually gets me really choked up. I feel like it's my body and it's my choice. So the whole conversation when I, when I debate about it, it, it does give me a little triggered. So I usually Bro. refrain from heavily like impactful in like, my opinion of what I have to say about it. That's but I I'm, I'm mad at you though girl. Sure. <laughs> okay, green flag. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, Casey, were you the um, songwriter? Yes. Okay. Can I ask you something, Casey? Yes. What is the the metal U shaped thing in your bra? Do you know what that's called? Fuck Nope. I don't know what that's called. I do not. The underwire? Yeah, the underwire. Oh, in the your underwire. Bra. I thought you meant something else because that's like on both cups. What's something that like you? The underwire. Wish you didn't experience as a woman, or like. I'm gonna go boob sweat. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Girl, I hate that boob sweat shit. It'd be like, it'd be like, I gotta lift my big ass 36 double D titty up, and I gotta, uh, 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 and then I gotta. And it be girl, and then and then my pussy lip be sweating. That's so real. Yep. So oh real. Mustache sweat. <laughs> um, how am I Delulu? What happened to 38 Triple D? When they you asked the question about underwire on the bra, I didn't know the answer, so I was like, okay, they're gonna vote me out. I knew it. <laughs> I'm gonna count the three, and if you wanna keep playing, because you think Junies, the fuck? Box. I got Would you smash him? Nah. I went from a 34A to a 34 triple D in a month. What the fuck are you, Alaska girl? My nigga, the fuck? What <laughs> the hell you mean? It's, it's a weird experience, what? but no. It starts up here, it's cool. It goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! <laughs> my Why? Wait, I, oh my god. Nat looks like he what was in fuck? like high school musical or something, like Camp Rock. So when I opened my eyes and saw Zac Efron, I was like, okay, you got me. Like, I really feel what like I've fuck? been bamboozled. 
I do a YouTube channel, and so oh. I used to do like Omegle content, and then I would do like oh. some gaming stuff, and so yeah, that's oh, what I do for that's a That's crazy. Whoa! Wait, I am flabbergasted. <laughs> wait, no, did he ask a period question? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's exactly Whoa. what we're teaching. Oh, no. Whoa. Uh, being that bitch been going for three rounds, and they're celebrating. Six, four. <laughs> I felt like I was already out of my element, so I had to like go in there and try to be somebody that I'm not. I was scared coming into this. Because All right, yeah, that's cool and all. Hold up, let me check this website out. What the fuck they talking about? Lilo. Bitch, if I open this shit and I don't see no damn pocket pussy, we're gonna have a fucking problem. Where the link at, bitch? Where the fuck the link at? Lilo. Sex toys. Hold up, hold up, hold, hold up. Explore. Uh, sex toys for men. View all products. Oh, they got penis rings? Oh, that's kinky. $172. Nigga, I better feel that shit in my asshole. What the fuck? I can get one of these hoes off Timu for 39 cents? The fuck? Bro, what the fuck? I look like buying a $229 sex toy. Are you fucking crazy? My nigga, the hell? Alright, what about sex toys for women? Because, you know, I'm pussy gang and all. What's your Twitch? Uh, Twitch.tv says fucking man. Oh, okay, okay. Lilo beads. I don't want to know what the fuck that is. What the fuck is a Lilo bead? Are those anal beads? Yo, why isn't the octopus dildo on here? Octopus dildo. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like the tentacle. Uh, the tentacle octopus. Yeah, here it is. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, it's like a big ass tentacle and shit. Yeah, that big ass like tentacle dildo and shit. Yeah. Nah, yeah. What the fuck? Octopus dildo porn video. What? What the fuck? Alright, my bad.